Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Guys, EA has done something incredibly right, and some of our investments are flying in price after the Make Your Mark promo started yesterday, but it's not necessarily these cards that are going up, it's those Path to Glories that we wanted to invest in. We'll talk about that, and of course, the biggest news of the day is that the live items have already been upgraded. It only took EA three hours after the full-time whistle of the Germany-Scotland game to get these cards upgraded, and that's the precedence that they're setting for the whole entire rest of the Euros per their tweet and message in-game. That's a W. We'll talk about those upgrades today and more SBCs that could be coming today. Upgrade packs and player SBCs that could make things very, very interesting. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you're new. First of all, let's cover some of the content that dropped yesterday for the Make Your Mark promo because there was a lot and a lot of really small things that we need to kind of discuss and cover because maybe you knew it, maybe you didn't. Cristiano Ronaldo has gone extinct on the market. His gold card is extinct all because of 400 XP. EA dropped a Euro throwbacks objective yesterday, which of course a lot of us are trying to get as much XP as possible right now to get through the season. It is kind of hard to come by, so that's why a lot of people are paying crazy money for Ronaldo cards, which is wild, but he is needed for this one-of-a-kind section of the whole Euro throwback objective. Now, this is like a puzzle, right? You have to figure out what it's actually describing in each of these and then complete the objective to take a lot of the guesswork out of it. Check out this tweet from Chem Expert EAFC on Twitter on X. If you want to screenshot this, if you want to visit this tweet, search him up and then kind of work your way through it. This is how you can get it done pretty easily. I mean, it's a nice, healthy chunk of XP, to be completely honest. Um, so that's kind of that from yesterday. But of course, it's the task number three, the one of a kind, which you have to use Cristiano Ronaldo for. Guys, I even saw his winter wild cards version on the market go up from like 500,000 coins, which I don't know still how that card is that expensive at this stage of the game. But he went from 500,000 coins to extinct at 750k and Gold Ronaldo is extinct as well. Now this one's back on the market a bit, but it's crazy that people were paying that much money for a Cristiano Ronaldo card for 400. He's still extinct for 400 XP. Crazy. I don't know if there's any sort of like Evo that's a part of that as well. It's making him extinct, but it's just wild that that, that is happening yesterday. But that is something that's going on in objectives and I wanted to mention that because XP is hard to come by, uh, of course, at the early stage of the season. So a lot of people are really trying to get that one done. So hopefully that helps a little bit there. We do have another daily play. We absolutely love that. Some decent packs there. Nothing super crazy. And we have the Pascal Gross, which is wild to say. He's already been technically upgraded, right? He got the chemistry boost. So when they get upgraded, the Path to Glory, or sorry, the Make Your Mark Plus car design. See that little like circle above uh, his rating overall? That is kind of the insignia that makes the plus card, the Make Your Mark Plus versus the Make Your Mark Regular. He already got his chemistry boost. Four-star, five-star, decent stats. Not a terrible card, and it's a free Evo one. And it's really hyped that, of course, that was one of the ones that got upgraded yesterday just from the game itself. So that is cool. We love that. We'll talk about those upgrades in a bit. Let's go to Evolutions first. We're kind of working our way through the content. It was just all right, and we're working into the good stuff. This Evolution actually is pretty decent. The Midfielder Academy, guys. The player selection is pretty decent, and the interesting thing is... GG's if you saved any of the old Evos because the attackers also fit the midfielder Evos and the midfielders fit the attacker Evos, which is exactly where I went with this James Madison card. And this card, yeah, he looks decent in the midfielder Evo, but this James Madison in the attacker Evo goes five star, five star with dead ball, power shot, and Technical plus 97 passing 96 dribble. This is perfect if you're using the English squads for weekend league I am trying to get this card evolved and I'm going to use him in weekend league because he looks absolutely phenomenal That was one that I did straight away, but it looks pretty good. Honestly, it's not bad I think of course one of the biggest problems that we still have with this is we wish that we had more player selection out of this. Casemiro is one of the most popular ones out of the Copa midfielder uh, if you want the first touch and you want the quick step, you put him into the midfielder. If you actually want better or different um, chem styles or, or play styles on the card, you go Casemiro into the attacker one, and he gets power shot and technical. So again... I really think saving some of those attacker Evos was kind of smart, especially for some of the players that they put into the midfield since they fit that. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to kind of 
put that, you know, put the players in where I want to later on. But it's nice to have options, and it was nice to have those Evos dropped yesterday with a couple more players that are pretty usable. I think it's Casemiro and Madison that are the most hype, and it's pretty easy to get it done, honestly. You just play, have to play a few games. It's a little bit of squad battles. You can do it in uh, champs and rivals. You do have to play four rivals or champs by the end, so not bad. Again, I think the biggest complaint is I wish we had more than seven options in total now let's go to SBCs because that's where it got interesting yesterday of course with the starter SBCs you know we got to mention the challenge once right the make your mark daily challenge it is what it is it's there you can do it every single day we also had the 78 times three best of nations I don't think it's worth doing guys honestly just keep uh, ripping through the 82 plus player picks that is the way to go with those but of course we did have a showdown it's the first showdown for a Copa America game it is Leandro Paredes from Argentina and Roma going to be matched up against Kamal Miller and Canada uh, MLS card from the Portland Timbers as a center back three play style pluses only right that was one thing we were talking about yesterday we did get the first four play style plus cards we'll look at that here in a second but who needs another Argentinian Argentinian center midfielder right we've had so many recently Enzo DePaul and now Paredes he's got intercept technical power shot four star five star high high this is kind of like the most cheap of those Argentinian midfielders though of course you know I kind of compare this in my mind to the Thomas Muller showdown that just got upgraded right for the Germany game yesterday Argentina opening game of Copa America big favorites over Canada you would expect Paredes to get upgraded he's only two squads to do he's 151,000 coins he actually links to Renato if you're still using the Renato Sanchez those could be two good cards to use in the midfield there and you know looking over the Kamal Miller card as well he's kind of like the showdown last week that was really, really cheap. He's only 45,000 coins for a 93 rated. Anticipate an intercept plus. Really solid play style plus is there. So maybe it's worth doing just to get a 93 rated. If you have some extra fodder, you might as well for that right there. Those were the secondary player SBCs that we had yesterday. The main one, the big name, the main man himself was Javi Simons. I'm three quarters of the way through this SBC right now. What a card. Honestly, what an upgrade. He got the five-star skill move boost. He got a really solid stat boost over his team of the season. And of course, four playstyle pluses. And all the playstyle pluses are pretty usable as well. You could argue that Dead Ball or Trivella is not the most usable, but they're still very, very good ones. And he honestly, yesterday, especially right away when he was dropped, was the cheapest four playstyle plus player because all the new cards on the market were crazy, crazy expensive. And this is a card that comes in at only 350 58,000 coins. I love it. This is a really awesome first day promo card SBC. That's why I'm three out of four and then starting his SBC to complete him here pretty soon. I think he has a really good chance of playing. He's been playing a lot for the Netherlands. The Netherlands play on Sunday, so he's not even that far away from upgrades. If he sees the pitch, maybe he even contributes a goal or an assist, he could be working towards an actual stat upgrade with the chemistry upgrade as well. This is a really, really good card, guys. Again, I say it, it's a very great starter SBC for a first day of a promo. Um, you know, you you might struggle with the links a little bit, but as long as he sees the pitch that one time and gets those uh, chem boost, he's going to be really, really fun to use either as a box to box midfielder or a center attack in mid, or maybe even a winger 97 pace. This is a card that can be used as a good super sub or uh, anywhere on the pitch, to be honest. Maybe if you're building out a German team with some of those newly upgraded cards and you need some Bundesliga links, he could slot in your team as well. So I love it. I absolutely love it. There's not a whole lot else to say except that's a WSBC for the price for the player. He's always pretty meta in game. I packed his Tots card and never really got a chance to use him since I packed him late from like a Tots player pick. I'm really excited to use this card. I will be using him here pretty soon um, in the main team after we get the English Weekend League done. But uh, love that. That was absolutely phenomenal. Now, let's continue going down the line with the biggest things that were dropped yesterday. That was the Make Your Mark cards in packs. And we did get the four play style pluses. But honestly, guys, like these cards were good. But that's, that's kind of all that they were. They were just okay. These cards being dropped on the game yesterday. I mean, I have nothing against them. There's a lot of fodder cards. They're all semi-usable. And of course, now we have the mix between the three play style plus cards and the four play style plus cards 
This cold Omani card looks okay. Finesse, flair, quick step. He might as well have two playstyle pluses, right? He's four star, five star. One of the things we mentioned yesterday was we were hoping that EA would go all out and drop us a lot of five star, five star players. They didn't really do that. There's still a lot of the four five and the five four, so they didn't really like go crazy bananas with some of the stat boost and some of that. They, they definitely did boost these cards up. There's a lot of middle to high tier ratings in here. You have a lot of 94, 95, 96 rated cards. You know, the bench is a little, low, little, little lower rated with some 94s, 92s, and 3s. But honestly, the team is decently high rated, and there are some pretty good stat boosts in here. And of course, the four playstyle plus players are nice. But as expected, they're pricey. Cole Palmer, 2.8 mil, right? I mean, yeah, he dropped down a lot yesterday, but like this card got a plus two boost over his team of the season, which is 440K. Guys, the English cards, like just to take an example, look here as well. Harry Kane was 700,000 coins, I think, last night. He's 500K right now. I think he was even lower than that before. Yeah, he was just down to 470. So some of these English cards, they were really, really low and they have been dropping. Uh, I think they might rise up a bit into the morning today on Saturday. But if you have those, just be careful with them. I think that might be keeping Cole Palmer's price up a little bit right now too, is just the fact that um, he's English and people maybe are using him and they want to use him for the five-star, five-star and for the weekend league with the English links there. But, you know, so there's some good names in this promo. I definitely think the Euro cards are better than the Copa America cards. And just another shout for the four play style plus players. A lot of them, like this Mudrick, he's only 400,000 coins, which is pretty cheap now, but they gave him Flair Plus, right? That to me is like, you might as well just have three play style pluses on him, right? Cole Palmers are nice. VVDs are solid. Nico Williams are good. Um, you know, Rafael Yao has Chip Shot and Trickster, along with Long Ball and Finesse. His card, that's a little underwhelming, to be honest, for the play style pluses there. So, for a lot of the cards that got four, it's kind of like, okay, they didn't give you very good ones out of the four. Kind of like Jan Cotto is a right back. Finally, it's nice to have a card for him. But the playstyle pluses don't look that amazing. But Callisters look pretty good. You know, Martinelli is at minimum selling price of 600K. There's actually a lot of cards I've just noticed that are in this team on the Copa side and the Euro side that are at their minimum price. Sesco, 300K. Um, who Colomani, uh, I think, is maybe well, no, he's not 600,000 coins. Who was it? There was just somebody else we looked at that's not selling Okafor. Yeah, we we're just looking at him on the menus. He's stuck at 326,000 coins. Um, I think Teate is stuck at 100k. There's a lot of cards that are at their minimum ranges, which is, of course, always frustrating. But honestly, guys, these cards came out yesterday, and I think a lot of people were just like, eh, they're cool. But the path to glories were more cool, and that is exactly why on the market the prices reflected that exact same thing. The prices of these PTG cards are going to the moon. It's crazy. Yesterday after content, I bought a few more. I know a lot of you guys in the stream as we were watching these cards move and kind of buying them up live uh, because we saw the hype for the new promo team. We were like, you know what? These cards are decent, but the PTGs just have more hype. The cards look better. The players are a little more hype. The upgrade path is a lot more hype. And uh, yeah, we spent a lot of coins. I'm, I'm literally broke. I have 200,000 coins right now, but the PTG cards are still in the show, guys, because, you know, we were, I'm glad we were confident in these investments, right? For the mention, the uh, reasons that we just mentioned, right? The cards, how they look, the players, and the potential to upgrade, and some of the rarity on the market. These were definitely some of the best cards to buy. Wow, Pedri's 800K. This Saliba yesterday on the stream was 1.4 mil. If you want to go watch on the second channel of how we were doing it, breaking it down, and all the cards that I bought, that is on there. It was an absolute blast because these cards just absolutely flew. The Copa cards too. Julian Alvarez, almost 500,000 coins. Davies is 1.7. That's got to be a rarity spike, but I have one, right? It's that sort of thing. And also it's the icons and the heroes. Di Natale went absolutely bananas yesterday in price as well. Petit, especially after people saw some of the cards from Germany do that well. Yeah, he's actually 1.45. I'm going to list this up here for like 1.6 though. You know, you never know if that 145 sells. And we can sell this Davies. But these cards are just all, like they're flying. Captavia, I was able to snipe at 600,000 coins. And he's now 700K. The Pedri, I bought for 688. He's what? Oh, look at this card, bro. 825. Like these cards are just flying. And it's crazy. I know some of them have games today, of course. And we have to be very, very careful about that. We're going to talk about live cards uh, again here in a second. But 
These cards are absolutely flying. They're going up like mad, and uh, it's lovely. It is lovely. I'm so glad that we were confident about buying these. Um, I sold the Balix. I actually just bought another Balix because I thought he was getting too low right after he got upgraded. Um, Kuman's 500k plus. Guys, I think you can continue to hold these. Actually, wait. Haji is 1.14. I don't have enough coins for that, but that's a buy because the bro was literally selling at 1.2 highs, almost 1.3 yesterday. It's kind of like these cards just jumped up into a new price range of dimension even with yesterday's content being what it was wow yeah he is back down that's crazy he was literally selling at almost 1.3 mil these cards are all flying again let's just talk about this now since we're here selling in the hype is always the move you can look at the ballots on my transfer list right i sold two of the two ballots that i invested in i said in yesterday's video that i planned to sell them early i sold him at 442,000 coins right right now ballot is 500k but i bought another ballot during the game at 570 so you're like oh nate you could have waited right well yeah you can always wait but it's gonna go one of two ways the card's gonna go up because the team wins or the card's gonna go down because they lose. And yesterday was a game to risk it on if you wanted to. I didn't. I sold Balak ahead of time. I bought another one during the game, made a good quick flip out of it because like 570, 580 was his max. But guys, the safe route is always selling in the hype. So I got to really decide today what I'm going to do with like this Pedri, right? And Captavia. And honestly, Dean Natalia as well because they all play today. But of course, it helps that the upgrades come in super quick and super snappy like i mean a lot of you guys are probably waking up today and seeing that the upgrades are out and that's honestly that's a surprise because yesterday we saw ea add the verbiage in game like they said they were going to upgrade the cards pretty quickly and they actually did it like fair freaking play to ea sports for upgrading the cards as early uh and as fast as they said they did. I think in the menus here, it says live items uh, will be updated more frequently. You can expect upgrades to appear in game after the day's action has been concluded. As the tournaments progress, any eligible upgrades to date will be already applied to live items when they are released. So it sounds like um, they're going to update the cards every single night. So like today's games, right? Spain, Croatia, Italy, Albania. And then you've got, um, what's the early game today? I can't even remember what it was. Um, Switzerland and somebody else are playing in the early game today. Like those upgrades are going to happen like tonight. And that's so hype. Honestly, that just aids in the whole entire hype of the promo. If they can keep it up throughout the duration of of this promo make your mark and throughout the duration of copa america and the euros there is going to be so much hype forward of course this goes for showdown cards as well thomas muller going up to a 95 rated it was a straight plus two across the whole entire card which is this card looking very nice if you take a look at like um bayern and other german links across the market uh just one that comes to mind is like road to the final tony cruz this card yesterday he, wow he's even down he was one million coins yesterday Literally, he was 1 mil, and he had a spike to 1.3 after the game. Yeah, you can see a lot of these cards went bananas. Florian Verts was a TOTS card that I was watching. I flipped um, a Musiala TOTS. He's 980. It says he's down 70K. These guys, he was 1.1 mil. And yesterday, before the game, he was 870K. These cards all flew. So it, they're probably going to go up and, and be higher in price again this morning because everybody is looking to play with these German cards and link together. Maybe it's Middlestat, Gross that they just got, Unda, Fulkrug, or the new Balak, right? The, the biggest upgrade and the most hype upgrade is Balak for sure. He is now four playstyle pluses and he got power shot playstyle plus which is the one that he had on his thunderstruck card i really really loved this version of him he was so good so they gave Balak the plus one and power shot plus i like that they opted for the playstyle plus here because again in the way in the menus that it said it could have been either a 99 stat on the card or a fourth place style plus. So I'm a big, big fan of this. And I actually just picked up a Balak for 500,000 coins because I think he might even go up this morning. I know a lot of people wanted to invest, but you think about it, right? He got both of his upgrades on the same day, on the same day from one game. They scored four, they scored five goals, technically six if you count Rudiger's own goal. And he got all the way upgraded. So he has no more hype to get future upgrades. But at the same time, there's so much hype because of all the German cards that got upgraded that people were maybe wanting to try. I think this card could actually go up a little bit more today, which is why 
I still have one of his cards that I bought at like 490. And then Undav, right? I sold Undavs in the hype yesterday as well. And maybe some of you guys guys sold Phil Krugs. If you held on to it, you know, it's looking like a, a smart play at the moment because he's reaching 240, 250, which is about 20,000 coins more than he was yesterday pre-game. Uh, because this card looks cracked. And of course, hey, next up, if they win three games, then boom, he's going to a fourth play style plus. And he could be cracked. And if Germany look as good as they did throughout the rest of the Euros, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with, home country. So all I'm saying is the upgrades are out. They're super fast. And uh, honestly, with Balak for sure, it impacted some of the rest of the icons. Like, I don't know if any of you guys invested in Petit. I'm 100,000 coins up on this Petit card right now. He was 330,000 coins. People were rushing to go to buy the PTGs and the icons yesterday even more because after they saw how much Balak went up and I'm like, they were like, oh shoot, you can get both upgrades in one game if you would just pop off and score four goals. There was a lot more hype for these icon cards and even the PTG cards in total. So I think that's why you're seeing guys like Kuman, who is 390,000 coins, by the way. He's 525K. So these cards are absolutely flying. Again, sell on the hype. If you want to sell on the hype, there's no risk in that. But if you want to hold on, if you think the team's going to win and they end up do winning, just like we saw with you know, Full Krug, just like we saw with the Undav, the prices just continue to go up. How much is Full Krug? Bill Krug is 56k. So, I mean, he's up some. I think yesterday before the game he was 45,000 coins. After the game he goes to 61k and now he's down just a little bit. But he's done very 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 well in price. Undav has done well. Balak has done well. A middle stat, again, he just got the chemistry boost. McTominay played, so he got the chemistry boost as well. And then Pascal Groys got the chemistry. So, yeah, it's awesome. And I cannot wait for the games that are coming out today. This is something that I want to do each and every day, guys. I want to make sure we check through the games that are going to be coming up to kind of prepare you guys. And maybe like if you forgot about a card, it's going to be playing. It's Hungary versus Switzerland. That's the first game for today. Sorry about that. Forgot about it. So you've got Pushka. Well, Pushka's nobody can get yet. You've got Sala Salai. You've got Endoy and Okafor, which it's kind of painful that Okafor can't even sell on the market. But if he plays today, he, of course, will get that chemistry boost. Same thing. Uh, and Doi is a PTG, so he's going for the win and the upgrade. And then you've got Spain, Croatia. That's probably the biggest game of the day. You got a lot of cards here, right? Even myself uh, investing in Pedri and Captavia. Both of these cards are on the line. That's a tough call, though. It's Croatia. This is going to be a really good game. I'm super excited for it. Again, you've got Gavardio on the line there, too, and Suker. And then the late game is Italy versus Albania. So you've got DeMarco, Di Natale, who I also own, Chiesa, and Vicario from the season pass. So big games today. I would expect, I mean, gosh, if you think about it, let's say like Switzerland, Spain, and Italy win today. You're looking at probably, how many cards is that? You've got five, you got seven, and you got... 11 cards that could be upgraded for all of the, those nations. If those three nations win, you've got 11 cards that could potentially be upgraded today. So that's pretty crazy. Again, selling the hype if you don't want to risk it. But again, if you think the team's going to win and you do want to risk it, there's big money if you hold on for those upgrades. So that's kind of the state of the market right now. Again, as you saw, I'm fully invested. I've got a lot of coins into these cards. Um, I've got the, the petite still that I bought at 330. I bought some caviches yesterday at 330,000 coins. I even picked up a Hernandez at 175, a Vidic under a million coins, the Pedri, which gosh, man, Pedri here, uh, 850. If, oh my gosh. If that one at 850 sells, he's 839 and nine. Okay, we're gonna have to watch that because if Pedri's like a million coins this morning, I'm totally selling him pre-game. If Captavia, um, you know, if if Spain go out and score four goals today, then he's probably gonna be 800,000 coins. All that sort of madness too. Di Natale, same thing. Like again, this is so hype, man. Having the Euros on now with these cards, it's amazing. And the fact that EA is upgrading the cards. It's awesome. So what other content are we going to be getting today? Let's talk about this, right? Let's talk about Saturday moving into today because there's other SBCs, right? We talked about Garnacho in yesterday's video. We didn't get Garnacho, right? We got the Javi Simons. Well, there's multiple player SBCs leaked, but I think I've got a guess on who the one is going to be today because of the schedule of the games. Now, Javi Simons was put out yesterday and FIFA Trading Romania said, if you completed this SBC, his partner's coming soon. And then for the scoreboard said, he retweeted Vandeven. So it's rumored that Vandeven could be getting a Make Your Mark player SBC and we might actually have 
two days of back-to-back -back Dutch Make Your Mark player SBCs. Now, personally, this would be one I'd be very excited in. Um, he had the Pundit Picks card earlier this year. That card was very, very good. And if they do it like they did Javi Simons, we might be looking at a four-play style plus Prem center back who would link to the Javi Simons with the Dutch links. That would be a fantastic SBC. I know we've had so many center backs recently, but this one would be phenomenal for like all of us that just did a Raujo or maybe pack somebody from Path to Glory. That would be a really, really good center back. So he is leaked, but there are a couple other leaks out as well. Arda Guler is coming as an SBC. The reason why I think it might not be Arda Guler today is because Turkey doesn't play on Sunday. So I'm, I'm thinking that EA would want to have the Dutch card out earlier, right? They, they may not. They may not want to drop two Dutch players back-to-back -back days, but that's just kind of my thought process. Maybe a higher chance for Van de Ven today than Arda Guler, but he has leaked. Hopefully, that's a great card with four playstyle pluses as well. I feel like now they've set the bar there. If we get an SBC with three playstyle pluses, we might be a little bit underwhelmed unless it's super-duper cheap. And then, of course, Garnacho. He is still leaked as an SBC player as well. So that one they could maybe save until later on in the week because, again, Argentina it doesn't play until next week. Copa America doesn't start until next week. But those are the leaks right now for a player SBC. I think we do get one of those. Again, my guess would be uh, Vandeman since Netherlands play tomorrow on Sunday. And EA would probably want to get that out, I would think, uh, before the game would actually be on and being played. So there's that. Also, upgrade packs. Guys, I think we speak or I speak on behalf of everybody saying that we just want the 85 times 5 to come back, okay? Just refresh this SBC, put the Make Your Mark design on it, right? And just refresh it, EA. Don't give us an 8310. The 847, no thanks. We, we'll take the 855 again because this was so good for pack pulls in the last week. We, we need it. Run it back. I'm unfortunately hearing a few rumors of the 86 times 2 being rumored to return, which would be a big letdown compared to an 85.5. This was only one squad as well. I think the 86.2 last time was two squads. So fingers crossed that those rumors are incorrect and then we actually get this 85 times five back, but it's probably gonna be the 86 double. And then watch out for this 84 times seven best of nations to be refreshed, just like the 80, uh, or sorry, the 78 times three was refreshed yesterday. That was dropped last Friday too. I think the 84 seven will be refreshed as well. So yeah, I'm not investing in team of the weeks or team of the season still at this time because every time I need a team of the week, I just go and do the, the pick from the 82 plus player picks. And yeah, keep grinding through those exchanges. The, the daily gold upgrades, bronze and silvers as well to stock your club. Get the weekend league rewards and objectives. The daily play stuff is helping send some a little bit of that lower tier fodder into the club as well for crafting as SBCs. The menu grind is still on. It is still great. Everything is really craftable, especially that Javi Simons and probably whatever player SBC were to come out today. Last thing I want to mention is the country badge collection milestone objectives that were like bugged and everybody was wondering like how do I how do I collect these objectives right uh they just took it down I think EA realized yeah this ain't gonna work they took it down and players who bought those badges off the market while the objectives were live are gonna get their coins back in the coming days so that that's kind of an EA mistake tweet I guess you could say but um yeah that's just one of those crazy scenarios where EA was literally just like yeah okay this isn't gonna work so we just got to take it away. So I wasn't expecting to see like a, a tweet like that. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. We'll let that slide. That was a decent idea, but it just wasn't implemented, I don't think, in the best way. Uh, but man, the biggest W for the weekend, 100% once again, is the live upgrades to the cards. Even if it's just the chemistry boost, the speed with which they did it is awesome. And I can't wait to see who gets upgraded today. And I can't, can't wait to watch some Euros Buddy. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. Check out the video on the second channel for more of the trading action and how we kind of made those buying moves yesterday. And uh, yeah, enjoy the games today. It's been Nathan Account. See you guys tonight for another YouTube video. Peace out.